Kids Den for Learning. In today's story, let's see how Zero discovered his superpower. Once upon a time in a world of numbers, all the numbers used to stay together and have lots of fun. They jumped and <laughs> laughed all the time. They were proud of being used to count objects. There was a special number named Zero. He was quiet, humble, and a bit different from the other numbers. You see, while all the other numbers had a real value, like 1, 2, and 3, Zero was different. He wasn't really anything at all. He was nothing. And so, in a world full of numbers, being nothing made him feel left out. The other numbers often made fun of him. What good are you, Zero? You don't even count. You are just a blank spot. A nobody. Zero felt sad and alone as he couldn't add value to anything and felt invisible. One day, Zero decided to leave. He vanished from the world of numbers, leaving the other numbers behind. He found a bench in the corner, he settled on it and started crying for being nobody. The numbers carried on with their work. People could still count with one, two, and three. But as time passed, something strange started happening. The mathematicians needed bigger numbers. They needed to write 10, 100, 1000, and even larger numbers. But without zero, there was no way to go higher. Every time they tried to count higher, it got messy. How could you tell the difference between 1, 10, 100, or 1000 without zero? Where is zero? I need to count 500 coins. The mathematicians panicked. They tried everything, but nothing was as simple and powerful as zero. They knew they needed him back. So they set off on a great search for zero. They looked everywhere. Zero, where are Come you? Come back, zero. They searched the world of numbers, but Zero was nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, Zero, who was tired of being alone, he saw a soft glow approaching him, and with a sparkle, there was a cute little fairy sitting beside him. Zero was surprised to see that. Who are you? The fairy gently replied, I have come from the world of wisdom, and I have come to inform you that the world of numbers is missing you. Zero told Fairy the whole story of being nothing and nobody. Fairy smiled and said softly, Listen to me carefully. You are the key to making all the other numbers work. You are the reason we can write big numbers. You see, it's possible only with number zero. That number one can reach ten, hundred, thousand or higher. Just like that all the numbers can go higher than ever before. Zero still hesitated. And what if they all teased me again? The fairy gently replied, The numbers might not understand your true value, but you know your worth. Embrace your power. Fairy then flew back, leaving sparkling thought with Zero. Zero, after realizing the value of his superpower, felt excited and decided to go back to the world of numbers. He was welcomed by the master, and all the numbers gathered around him. They all were so happy to have Zero back. From that day on, Zero never felt less valued. All the numbers played, laughed, and worked together. <laughs> the world of numbers grew higher and higher. My friends, just like Zero, you don't have to be big to make a big difference. Thank you for watching. <laughs>